Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. I'm Bob, how's it going? Um, this is an impromptu mini on snow review of a ski that we've reviewed plenty before, the Nordica Unleashed 98. Um, they were just, they were, they were eyeing me in my garage this morning. Sometimes things speak to you like that. Exactly, it's a lovely, I almost said spring. <laughs> no, it's not, it's spring. not spring, <laughs> but it's a spring-like day. We're gonna get into the 40s today and I bet it's close to 40 right now. Yeah. Um, and just like, it's always really fun for me to like revisit skis like this. And like, granted I own it. So it's kind of silly that I'm revisiting something that I own, but can you think of a twin tip that carves this well, just period? Uh, no, and I'm on a Black Crow's Captus, so 90 millimeter twin tip, and right. the thing carves great, but still not unleashed 98. No, so it's pretty it, incredible. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you go up 10 millimeters, basically, the thing still just rips yeah. and turns. Yeah, um, so yeah, that's like, honestly, I wasn't going to do this until that last run sure. where, like, I've been filming Bob on the Captus because he's on a new graphic Captus. Um, and we just decided to kind of randomly film an Unleash 98 run. I've been coming through the park, so we've been filming in there too. And yeah, just the way that they lay over a carve in like this beautiful round shape. Yeah. They're not like exceptionally stiff longitudinally. So like they just bend into these clean, round, crisp turns that are just incredibly rewarding. Yeah, so smooth, and it's yeah. really all about that partial metal that they have in there and how that thing yeah. basically interacts with, like, the longer camber. You know, it has the right. same metal as the Santa Ana, yep. but more camber. Yeah, different profile, so yeah. it really li I think it lines up really well with this ski. I do too. No, it's pretty cool. And, like, we get questions a lot. Um, I feel like a question that I've seen a lot recently is like i've been skiing the black ops 98 yeah. what's a ski that can compare to that and there really aren't many right but unleash 98 is like definitely can compare to that i feel like if you're gonna kind of differentiate between those two I'd be interested in your thoughts here i might give black ops 98 the edge in like longitudinal stability yep but this i give the edge in torsional stiffness and edge grip yeah, and I think one of the one of my kind of staple answers when that comparison comes up is that I'd rather ski a Black Ops 98 in like bumps and trees and yeah. like crud and chop, right. kind of more varied conditions. Yep. And I'd rather ski the Unleashed on a groomer. I'm basically the same way. I think that like I might prefer Unleashed 98 in any kind of open situation, yeah. regardless of the snow like off-piste open bowls I, I would get along with this really really well yeah um it is interesting this is a short lift so we're getting close <laughs> to the top here uh we did that reckoner 102 review the 2025 reckoner 102 yep. so that's that's what i've been skiing park on mostly and there is a difference a hundred percent like one of the first things i noticed is that these are heavier and i have to try a little bit harder uh, I can hear it in the air when you're spinning. Right, there's like, more mass. Yeah, the Reckoner is just kind of nice and quiet when you're spinning around. Yeah. And this thing definitely makes more of like a helicopter rotor sound. Yeah. Like it really cuts through the air. So, and I know we've talked about this before, but just a good reminder that like, it's, it's a high level park ski in the sense that you need to be a relatively high level park yeah. skier to really benefit from it or even like enjoy it. Right. I think a, a like a, a new park skier, a beginner park skier would, would probably struggle. So we're gonna get off the lift here. You wanna film another one? Might as well. Uh, and then yeah, we'll we'll probably we'll probably talk to you again. I think we can wrap up this mini Unleash 98 review. Just like ripping carves. Yeah. So fun.
Like that was the highlight of that run for me, was just making carves, which is silly because it's a twin tip. Yeah, but it's not, yeah, but it's a great ski. Yeah. And like, that's the whole point is. Not like, silly, I, I guess counterintuitive. Uh, yeah, that's a better, a better adjective, I would say. Um, the unintentional rodeo 450 just now. That was really impressive. Was that like, <laughs> was 100% unintentional. I definitely like, I speed checked once too much and I knew going into it that I was going slow. So I was weird and hesitant, like setting it. But that is probably the best visual representation of what you're dealing with, with like swing weight. Yeah. And I do have a pivot on here. It's either a 15 or an 18. So the whole thing is like on the heavier side. Yeah. Like that would have come around much easier on a lighter ski yeah so yeah if you're gonna pinpoint kind of like i don't know if it's a downside but a potential downside it's the swing weight in the park you should be aware at least yes. if you're have freestyle aspirations yes and it really just means like i was saying earlier on the lift that you just have to set everything harder yeah. so yeah it was fun glad we did that yeah. uh unleash 98 is back unchanged for 2025 it just gets a top sheet refresh which i think looks fantastic i do too yeah, yeah. it's a little bit more color to it so yeah. let us know if you have any questions uh we do sh we should still have plenty of the 2024 i think i've seen them there. Yeah. yeah so you can pick up the 2024 and i would imagine that they're gonna get discounted soon who doesn't like a more yeah cheap ski? so keep an eye out for that i think we're getting close to price drops on, on nordica uh, and yeah let us know if you have any questions bye